Yo, 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 Radar Force, what's up? It's Dragon Radar here with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today, I will be explaining the differences in the Battle of Gods movie English dub compared to the English dub of Dragon Ball Super in the anime. So, without further ado, let's get into this with our differences. There are some obvious differences from the movie to the anime. And I'm going to start it with this one. First off, the biggest difference from the movie to the anime is Bulma's birthday location. Obviously, it's in the movie, it's at Capsule Corp. And in the anime, they're on a cruise line ship. That's pretty obvious, but I would say that the anime gets the win on this difference. So, on to the next difference. <laughs> the next point I would like to make is... In the movie, Goku went straight to Super Saiyan 3, and in the anime, he went from Super Saiyan 1 to 2, and then to 3. This made the fight on King Kai's planet last longer in the anime, but it didn't do no justice. The fight in the movie was way better. So I would definitely give the movie the win for this difference, mainly because the animation was better. The way they written the battle in the movie was 10 times better. It actually seemed like he had no chance of winning. On to the next difference. One of the most notable differences from the movie to the anime was this shockwave type thing from their punches that were in the anime. That if three of these shockwaves were to happen, like the whole universe would just rip apart or whatever. To me, this was kind of lame. But I can understand where they were going for. Because, I mean, they are super freaking strong. And I get it, but every time they achieve a new height... There's always shockwaves, so it's really kind of pointless. But I did like it at first, and then it kind of got, it kind of got useless. Like the shockwave actually meant nothing after like the next episode or two. So I'd have to say I give the movie the thumbs up for not having the shockwave in it. So the movie wins this one. Another super main difference that happened in the anime that did not happen in the movie was the healing factor that Super Saiyan God did to Goku when Beerus stabbed right through him and practically killed Goku. The way it happened in the movie, Goku knew he couldn't defeat Beerus, and as he was dying, or whatever you want to say it, he started thinking about his family, friends, and Earth, everything like that, which gave him his power he needed to pursue to beat Beerus, or to stop his energy wave. In my opinion, the healing factor in the anime was pretty stupid, because he doesn't even use it ever again. He only uses it for that specific time. And to me, that's stupid. If you can't control that power, what was the point of even showing it in the anime? Therefore, I have to give the movie another win against the anime. One more difference is, at the very ending of Battle of God Saga in the anime and the movie, in the movie, Beerus destroyed part of the Earth by blasting a rock, the very tippy-top of the rock, to pieces. And in the anime... Beerus acted like he fell asleep and shot the blast up into the sky instead of shooting the earth. And that was probably the very best way they could have done it. The reason this was so great is because this whole time Beerus was talking about destroying the earth and he never takes back any of his words. If he says it, he does it. And the reason he had to fall asleep was because of his pride. He was so prideful, he had to fall asleep to make an excuse to not destroy the planet. Because he really enjoyed Goku. Goku made a change in Beerus' life, which is why he let them survive. Okay, that is all the major differences I could come up with. Obviously, there are some smaller differences that I thought weren't really important to note. So if it was my opinion to judge these two, I would probably have to give the movie the win overall. But one thing to note about the anime itself, the anime had way better character dialogue. It was more focused on character interaction. So the character interaction in the anime was on point, 100%, and in the movie, not so much. But overall, the movie has to take the win over this. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below on which one you would think should deserve the win. Alrighty guys, with that said, I'm going to take my leave. So if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. Leave a like on this video and comment below tell me what you think. Also, uh, hit the bell so you'll be notified about every video I make. I'm trying to do more Dragon Ball Super videos. But yes, um, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye.